We're looking at version constraints. So Terraform utilizes semantic versioning for specifying Terraform providers and module versions. So semantic versioning is an open standard on how to define versioning for software management. So you have your major, minor, and your uh, patch. And so here are examples or variants on this here. So we have, um, you know, where you see major, minor, then you can have this RC, this RC1, or you could not have it, or you can have beta. And this can all be read about on the samver.org, but just to quickly go through it, major version is when you want to make incompatible API changes. Minor is when you add functionality that is backwards compatible in matter. Patch is when you make backwards compatible bug fixes. There are additional labels for pre-release, build, metadata that are available as extensions. So that's where we see um, uh, those little uh, additions there at the top. A version constraint is a string containing one or more conditions separated by commas. So you have your equals uh, or no operators, or sorry, your <laughs> equals or no operators. So match exact version of the number. So it's either with the equals or not with the operator at all. Okay, that's what I'm trying to write there. Excludes an exact number uh, version. So if we just said does not or will not be 1.0.0, uh, then you have a comparative one. So they have, the version has to be greater or equal to 1.0.0. Um, and then we have one with the tilde. So allows only the rightmost version of the last number to increment. So what this means is that the, the, the last number here um, is only allowed to increment, okay? So let's talk about progressive versioning because this kind of ties into semantic uh, versioning. But progressive versioning is the practice of using the latest version to keep a proactive stance of security, modernity, and development agility. And we like to describe this as practicing good hygiene when we're uh, working with our code, okay? So by being up to date, you're always pushing left on things that need to uh, stay fixed or compatible. Uh, you'll have to deal with smaller problems instead of dealing with a big problem later on. Uh, run nightly builds is a good example where you might have golden images and the idea is to provide a warning signal just to kind of elaborate on that a nightly build is an automated workflow that uh, occurs at night when developers are asleep so if the build breaks because a change is required for the code the developers will see this upon arrival in the morning and be able to budget accordingly so what i'm trying to get at is that when you are uh like putting in your providers especially if you copy from the terraform um the Terraform website to get the providers and modules, what they'll do is they'll actually have it set as the, I'm just gonna roll back here for a second, but they'll actually have it set as the equals. But what I'm saying to you is you want to use something like a tilde or a greater than or equal sign so that you are staying progressive, okay? So that's just one thing I want you to watch out for. And we will talk about that when we go through the follow-alongs, okay? 